Hey everyone, it's Nate here with Element Van Life. Wanted to check in, give you guys a couple updates. I'm just hanging out here by the beautiful Mission Bay here. Got one of the parks here by Mission Bay, just taking it easy, enjoying the beautiful afternoon. It's such a nice day here today in San Diego. It's been so gloomy. Uh, they got the June gloom going on, so most of the mornings and even the afternoons have been really, really cloudy, so it's nice to finally see the sun and get some real sunshine out here. I'm just hanging out in my wetsuit and a couple towels to dry. I just took a shower over there by the uh, by the showers over there just uh, not too long ago. This morning I went on a pretty cool little hike uh, in one of the canyons on one of the nature trails over in Claremont. So that, that was cool. There's a whole bunch of, of those nature trails all throughout San Diego that I really want to start checking out a little bit. It was, uh, it was really pretty cool. So check out some of the footage I got from that. That was a pretty cool, cool little place to walk around and explore. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, growing up, I was never really, never really into the nature type thing. My family never really was into camping or going outdoors or anything like that. So, definitely something I want to get in touch with a little more, especially being here in San Diego, where the weather is always so nice and you know there's just so much to do outside. So, definitely, definitely something I want to start doing more often as part of the van dwelling lifestyle. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is my brand new fridge, which just came in just a couple of a uh, couple of days ago. It's uh, pretty nice. It's a Dometic CF18. I think it's pretty common uh, among a lot of the van dwellers. I've definitely seen it in a couple of other van dwelling videos on YouTube, so it seems like a pretty common one. Uh, good size. It's about the same size as the as the cooler that I had. And I'll, as I'm talking, I'll cut to a clip that I shot. Uh, the other day when I first was unpackaging this thing and it's about the same size if not maybe just a little bit bigger but fits perfectly in this little spot right here right where the cooler was previously so it's perfect for that uh, it's a 12 volt system it's a compressor fridge it runs well on my battery I've got my 35 amp hour battery that it runs on the first day I was a little bit worried that it was not going to run and, and not not going to um that the solar panel wasn't going to be able to replenish what it had used the night previously. It only got to 90% that previous night, and I was worried that as I kept doing that, maybe it would continue to just to deplete and when the solar panel wouldn't be enough. But I adjusted the setting on it and moved the dial down. I'll show you guys the dial underneath here. If you see that there, you can kind of see it's just a just like a just like a dial. It doesn't actually have like a temperature readout or anything like that. Just a, just your standard analog dial, but I adjusted that, made it a little bit a little bit less, and it you know obviously kept keeps the temperature a little bit higher in the uh, in the cooler, but not not too much, and it's definitely enough to compensate. And the last two days, I've been at 100%. Yesterday it was a cloudy day all day, and it got to 100% by by 3 p.m. My battery was at, and then today with the sunshine out there, it is it got to 100% by like 11 a.m. So definitely enough. That's a huge relief that it looks like it's going to be working out really well. And uh, it's, it's uh, pretty sweet, guys. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. So in terms of efficiency of the fridge, I'm noticing that it's using somewhere between about 1 and 2 amps or so. I've kind of been hovering over it a lot with the multimeter. Uh, it doesn't seem to be using too much. Obviously, it's a compressor fridge. It runs between 10 and 20% of the time, sometimes up to 25%, depending on how hot it gets in here in the car itself. So that's going to have the most impact on it. Obviously, it runs less at night than it does during the day when it's hotter out in indirect sunlight. Uh, but overall, it's working out really well, guys. This is, like I said, the third day I mentioned this. You got that green light there blinking on the charge controller, if you can see it. That means that it's full. It's been like that all day, guys. Even when the compressor is running, it's almost like it's just running directly on the solar panel right now, which is really, really nice. Something I'm really, really, really excited about if I haven't said that enough times already. 
In terms of price, I think a lot of people will probably ask about that. I paid $316 for the fridge. Uh, that was quite a bit cheaper than, than a lot of the other websites that I saw. I think I found it on Jet.com was the website that I used, and it was quite a bit cheaper than everywhere else that I was looking at. I don't know if they make this exact, uh, exact CF-18 anymore. They might not make it anymore, so that might be why I was able to get a good deal on it. But I think it retailed originally for like 450 or 500 so uh, definitely I think a pretty good deal that I got on it. Um, I can imagine that it's going to pay for itself pretty quickly, guys. Uh, between the 50 to $70 a month that I was spending on ice with the cooler, plus the fact that I'm going to be able to eat out a little bit and be able to take food with me, for example, and keep it cool, and then also just be able to keep per perishables in there, be able to cook more frequently, be able to keep leftovers and, and warm them up the next day kind of thing. That's going to be, that's going to be something that I'm, that's going to be nice. I think that's going to save myself a lot of money, and hopefully it will, uh, it will pay for itself, you know, pretty quickly. Obviously, I realize that for refrigeration, van dwelling, if you're you know thinking about the van dwelling thing or you're new to it or, or whatever it may be, having a cooler is sometimes necessary. It's like I didn't have this money to pay for this fridge right away. I had to have the cooler for a few months. So, and then once I was able to save it, save up enough money for it, then I, I kind of just went for it and, and bought it. But uh, you know, having the cooler, it, it wasn't that bad. But I, I do believe that having the fridge is going to be so much nicer. It's going to really improve my life overall. So. As always, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'm also doing Tuesday Q&A videos, if you guys noticed. So feel free to check out the most recent one there and post your questions in there instead if you'd rather do that. Uh, that way I can answer them in person in the next video that I do. I'm going to do those every other week for now. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.